morning. Good morning. It's the 26th of March 2024 and I thought I'd walk around with you just quickly uh, because autumn's here and things are going to change pretty soon. So I'm going to take you to the gate and start from there because I really like it. I stand at the gate and have a look and think, gee, this is a nice place. So I thought I'd share that sort of image and idea and joy with you. So over to this side, we've got that little dam that does have some water in it. And then we go across the yurts there. I don't know if it's too dark, really. I don't know if I told you, but now I've got a huge sawdust pile. I bought a whole truckload to keep me going with my toilet system. There is a vid on that, how to, how that works and how easy it is to clean. The mouse house. I'm glad I polished it all because now water just runs off. So. Hi mice. How are you? How are you? I've refurbished the whole side of Tin Hut where all the tomatoes were and now I have turnips, beetroot in these rows here and then turnips of two different types and at the back there'll be sugar snap peas these are greens for the chickens oh look that looks like the peas are up there already oh there's another little one down there I did peas sort of to about this point and then it's broad beans in here and across and all in here is carrots I put them in and then I put boards over the top for a few days and kept having a look and all the carrots are up which is really lovely I'm very happy about that so this used to be a wall full of tomatoes and now it's a root vegetable garden just happened to work that way I bought some garlic some organic kangaroo island I think it was purple and one other sort and I've been putting garlic in at different times to see which actually works the best okay let's keep going the horses have been pruning my pear trees regularly so then I come along with secateurs see where they just chew it out I'm not so happy but you know so be it, I do love having the horses close by. So right now there's still dew on everything and the sun's, it's about 8.30 a.m. But the dahlias look lovely. No, the pears have never given me pears. And they were sort of the first tree I put. Oh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> we have a bit of a, <laughs> an interesting dahlia here. It's just decided to get itself a little pink stripe. The hazelnut trees are doing well. They've got lots of lovely growth at the bottom. I've been foliar feeding every fortnight with a mix that's made of banana skins and comfrey leaves and various other bits and pieces. And things are really responding well. Um, the fig that was given to me by a fella in the village here, it's looking okay. It's definitely not die but I mean it is coming into winter this is my new tree this is a silver birch which I say hello to when I pat the tree and I say come on you're looking lovely and I bought that because the bark has um, like aspirin type properties the more I can grow here to look after myself the better I feel actually now look at this I planted this as a tiny little one and look at it it's actually quite tall now maybe twice my height look at it look at it isn't it lovely with all the dew so I think it's going to be a nice warm day maybe 23 degrees the bamboo has decided it's happy here it gets foliar feed as well this bamboo is called weaver's bamboo it's more for making basketry and it's a clumping bamboo too so it's not going to run away anywhere the horses have been along the edge here 
which is kind of handy because it means they don't have far to go for manure and they've been leaning over and grabbing all the cosmos and eating it <laughs> so the plants that I've pulled out they have enjoyed my neighbor said it's not poison to horses is it and I said I don't know but they're leaning into my place to get it so we hope not and they're doing a good job trimming along my fence line one apple here I guess this is a late this is a, a Bramley cooker and it's already been attacked but I just thought I'd have a look at you know what they're actually going to be like this is pretty a yellow more yellow calendula I kept the seeds I bought a little plant and kept the seeds and this is quite beautiful I think I planted in memory of a friend here, her mother's Queen Elizabeth rose, I think, that had been in a pot. Mum bought it in 1959 and now it lives here. And I gave it some rose food, I gave it foliar feed, gave it a bit of a prune. And look at that, there's a flower. The cosmos are on their way out now, but they have been so beautiful. So I'll take this plant out and this is a, a lovely elderberry. I have a few elderberries, there's a lot you can do with elderberry flowers. So the mist is just about out of the gorge now and it's going to be a lovely day. I gave my cherry trees a summer prune so that we'll get new growth and new branches heading outwards. It seems to work. It works for me. This is another rose I was given. I can't remember its name, actually. But it's really beautiful and the perfume is stunning. Roses like parsley. And I also have a penny royal growing around the bottom here. And this rose that was just about dead when it was given to me has picked up beautifully. Got some aphids on there though. Just wipe those off. Yeah. Another cherry tree, I did the same. It got cherry tree slug, you know that little little tiny slug. I think it's called cherry and pear slug. It doesn't seem to harm the tree um, and you can get rid of it just by throwing dry wood ash on it. It sort of dries out the little critters. What's this one? The green gauge. Green gauge is really picked. Look, it's got some of that cherry slug as well. And that might have been due to the heat wave. I don't know. It is what it is, isn't it? The pomegranate is picked up beautifully. That's from my friend Elisa. There's a lot of lovely things in here. This is a prune and it wasn't looking good at all. And I gave it the tip pruning as well. And look the new growth is headed out just as I wanted it to. Every day I wander around and have a look when I let the chooks out. Um, pumpkins are just curing on the top of the chicken house inside the mesh so there'll be uh, nobody's going to get those, no critter. The chickens they're all out already. I found out that crab apples, once they um, fall off, are actually quite sweet to eat. So these have ripened on the tree and I can eat those. <laughs> I was going to make crab apple jelly, but I don't know, I've been a bit busy doing other things, I suppose. But this is a lovely tree, it's really nice. And I did the same thing, tipped it so that it would start growing outwards and. That's worked perfectly. And then there's a dahlia. There's an Australian native here. One of the first things I ever planted, actually. I haven't seen it flower yet. And there we are. There's this part. I've been digging out lots of comfrey and giving it away. I didn't really want comfrey in the middle here. But once you have comfrey, you have comfrey. 
Got some lovely big capsicum under there. Look at that. Can you see that? These are the uh, cauliflowers and cabbages and broccoli. So the winter seedlings are in. I grew those from seed, planted the seed, I guess, a month and a half ago. The corn I'm keeping for seed, it's already kind of overripe, so I chew on it a bit and then I give the rest to the chickens. Tomatoes are still doing well here. Oh, I had lots of tomatoes I made. Toma I made tomato relish, tomato chutney, tomato sauce, tomato passata, cooked a lot of tomatoes. Whew. And, and, and that's right, cooked it right down to like a tomato paste and then put it in ice cube trays and then wrap the little blocks up separately so I can use those in winter. Like I say, I foliar feed every week or every two weeks and the, the garden that was so bad because of lime mortar, well, it has slowly improved. With the beetroot here are looking okay. So I've got one row here already. I planted another row in front of them seeds yesterday and over the other side of Tin Hut, there'll be beetroot as well. I have a juicer now. I bought a juicer as a result of not being very well, I thought. I think a juice would be a good idea. So I got a, got a cold press juicer, it's called a Toros Solo, and I really like it. Every day for a while there I was having celery, lemon and ginger, or just straight celery. Uh, now I have every second day, or if I feel a bit blur, I'll, I'll have one. But I don't feel a bit blur very often now, I'm feeling super good. This is a plant that was given to me just recently. Kumbung, I think it is. It's an ancient green. I was also given a printout of everything that this plant is amazing for. And it certainly is amazing. It's got all the B vitamins, which is kind of handy. These are quite thick leaves, like a salon or something like that. So I put a few of these through the juicer as well when I'm doing celery and whatnot. Time to get some little flowers growing again. Is cute. So this is the garden where I took all the comfrey out of. There, there's a cucumber that can just stay there for seed. And as I dug out the comfrey I found that there were actually bulbs in there. Jonquils, daffies, all sorts of things like that. That'll be nice. I usually just forget what's what's where. I've got lots of chilies still on of different sorts and sweet pimento were really nice. So I've saved the seeds from them as well. And there's one, there's another ripe one down here. They're very thick skinned, these pimento, so they're ideal for stuffing. Check out my rose. This is the rose called Freesia. And I actually bought this one because it's my favorite rose. A few olives on the olive tree. what do you think? Looking pretty nice. My new mower, the 46 centimetre wide Ryobi 36 volt battery mower, is fantastic. I love it. Much quicker than using the little 33 centimetre one. The pile's going down quite quickly now, but it's made such a difference to everywhere. More flowers down there. It's quite lovely. Hopefully I'll move this gravel and put it all around the yurt because it's just going to get overgrown here. This is a tagastasi, which is tree loose and which has grown really, really well. I like that. And there's our oak. Probably hasn't grown much since last month. But it's looking healthy, soon it'll lose its leaves. There's my gum tree behind it. Beautiful dahlias here. Oh, that'll be lovely as they multiply. And this is the worst garden, I think I always tell you that. But look, look, this is my, the first time this little bottle brush has flowered. Aren't they lovely? Now this is an Australian native. 
and they grow in harsh conditions which is just as well because this is harsh. I recently put on some more of the wood chip that sort of had the mycelium through it and uh, this is a cat that I grew in the garden. Hey hello. Hey. Hey too. Hey. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. We're sort of back at the at the gate again. So there you go. There's happenstance all the way around. I took a lot of photos and I'll put them in at the end. Try and find some nice music and hopefully you will enjoy a nice cup of tea. And, uh, and thank you for coming along again and I'll see you all soon. Bye now. Bye.